Hey there, Iggy the Investing Iguana here. The Investing Iguana is featured and ranked 8th in the 2023 Influential Tigers by Tiger Brokers, with a total of 410,000 reads. Today, we're ringside for the heavyweight bout of the century, Keppel vs. Capitaland. These two Singaporean giants are locked in an epic race to grow their assets under management, or AUM, to a mind-blowing $200 billion by 2030. In this video, I'll break down what this battle means for you as an investor. We'll dive into their strategies, strengths, and weaknesses, and I'll give you my take on who will come out on top. So, grab some popcorn, sit back, and let's get ready to rumble. So, what exactly is AUM? Well, it's basically the total value of all the investments that a company manages on behalf of its clients. This term is used in the finance industry to indicate the total market value of all the financial assets which a financial institution such as a mutual fund, venture capital firm, or brokerage house manages on behalf of its clients and themselves. Now, let's talk about CLI and Keppel, two significant players in the industry. They have set ambitious goals for themselves. They're not just aiming for the stars, they're aiming for a different galaxy altogether. Their target is to manage a staggering $200 billion in funds by the year 2030. To put that into perspective, $200 billion is a colossal sum. It's equivalent to the GDP of some small countries. This target reflects their confidence in their investment strategies and their commitment to their clients. They believe that through careful and strategic investment, they can increase the value of their clients' portfolios and thereby increase their own AUM. In essence, AUM is a crucial indicator of a financial institution's size and success. And with their lofty goal of $200 billion in AUM, CLI and Keppel are clearly positioning themselves as leaders in the financial industry. It's a bold move, but with the right strategies and a bit of luck, it just might pay off. And that, my friends, is not just a lot of moolah, but a testament to their ambition and determination. Now, you might be wondering, why is this AUM race such a big deal? Well, here's the scoop. When companies like CLI and Keppel increase their AUM, they're not just increasing the amount of money they manage. They're also increasing their potential for profitability and growth. Let's break it down. The primary way these companies earn revenue is through management fees, which are typically a percentage of the total AUM. So, the more assets they manage, the more fees they collect. This directly boosts their earnings. But the benefits don't stop there. A higher AUM can also lead to an increased return on equity. Return on equity is a measure of financial performance calculated by dividing net income by shareholders' equity. Essentially, it's a measure of how effectively a company uses investments to generate earnings growth. So, when AUM increases, and consequently earnings increase, the return on equity also increases. Furthermore, as these companies become more profitable, they can distribute a portion of their profits back to their shareholders in the form of dividends. This makes the company more attractive to investors, potentially driving up the price of its shares and providing an overall higher return for shareholders. In the long run, a higher AUM can also provide these companies with more resources to invest in their growth, be it expanding their team, investing in technology, or entering new markets. This can further increase their AUM, creating a virtuous cycle of growth. In the current landscape of the financial industry, CLI has taken a significant lead in the race to increase assets under management, AUM. With an impressive $130 billion in funds under management, FUM, CLI has demonstrated its ability to effectively manage and grow its clients' investments. This achievement is a testament to CLI's robust investment strategies and its commitment to delivering value to its clients. However, trailing not too far behind is Keppel, another formidable player in the industry. Despite currently managing around $50 billion in AUM across its various asset management businesses, Keppel is not to be underestimated. This figure, while lower than CLI's, still represents a substantial amount of assets and showcases Keppel's capabilities in asset management. Keppel's current AUM also indicates its potential for growth. 
With the right strategies and initiatives, Keppel could very well catch up to, or even surpass, CLI in the future. It's important to remember that in the financial industry, fortunes can change quickly. A few successful investments or strategic decisions can significantly boost a company's AUM. Both CLI and Keppel are determined to reach the $200 billion mark in AUM by 2030. This shared goal underscores their ambition and their commitment to growth. It's a challenging target, but both companies are confident in their ability to achieve it. They believe that by continuously improving their investment strategies and services, they can attract more clients and manage more assets. While CLI may currently be in the lead, the race is far from over. Both CLI and Keppel have shown their potential and their determination to succeed. The next few years will be crucial in determining who will ultimately reach the $200 billion mark first. But regardless of who comes out on top, this competition is a win for the clients who stand to benefit from the improved services and returns that such a race engenders. The recent competition in the real estate market is a clear indication of a strategic shift in the business models of companies like CLI and Keppel. They are gradually moving away from their traditional focus on real estate development, which, while profitable, can be quite unpredictable due to market fluctuations and other external factors. Instead, they are turning their attention towards growing their recurring fee income. This involves offering asset management services to investors. In this model, they manage the assets of investors, and in return, they charge a fee for their services. This fee is usually a percentage of the assets under management and is charged on a regular basis, hence the term recurring. This shift is a smart and strategic move for several reasons. Firstly, it provides a more stable revenue stream. Unlike real estate development, which can be subject to boom and bust cycles, the income from asset management fees is more predictable and steady. Secondly, it can also be more profitable in the long run. As the assets under management grow, so too does the income from management fees. Moreover, this move allows CLI and Keppel to leverage their expertise in real estate and offer value-added services to their clients. They can provide investors with insights into the real estate market, advise them on the best investment opportunities, and manage their investments to ensure maximum returns. For those with an interest in investment, the race to increase assets under management, AUM, between companies like CLI and Keppel is a fascinating spectacle that warrants close attention. The term AUM refers to the total market value of the investments that a person or entity manages on behalf of clients. In this context, CLI and Keppel are vying to attract more funds to manage, thereby increasing their AUM. The reason this is so significant is that the success of these companies in attracting more funds to manage could have a substantial impact on their stock prices and overall performance in the coming years. This is because a larger AUM typically translates into higher fee income for these companies. As they earn a percentage of the AUM as their fee, the more assets they manage, the higher their income. This increased income can then lead to a rise in their stock prices, assuming other factors remain constant. Moreover, a larger AUM can also enhance the reputation of these companies. It can be seen as a vote of confidence from investors, which can attract even more funds. This can create a virtuous cycle of growth for these companies. However, it's important to note that while a larger AUM can lead to higher fee income, it also comes with greater responsibility and potentially higher risk. These companies need to ensure that they manage these assets effectively to generate good returns for their clients. Failure to do so could lead to a loss of clients and a decrease in AUM. So, as an investor or an observer, it's definitely worth keeping a close eye on this AUM race. It's not just about who comes out on top but also about how they navigate the challenges that come with managing a larger pool of assets. So, grab your metaphorical binoculars and join me in watching this exciting race unfold. It's sure to be a journey filled with twists and turns, and one that could have significant implications for the investment landscape. All right, folks, there you have it, the inside scoop on the Keppel vs. Capitalan showdown. We've seen that both companies are pulling out all the stops to hit that $200 billion AUM target. Kipple is betting big on its business transformation, while Capitaland is doubling down on sustainability. It's a close fight, but my money's on the company that can execute its strategy better and adapt faster to changing market conditions. 
Now, I want to hear from you. Who do you think will win this AUM race? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to join the Investing Iguana community. Remember, investing is a journey, and I'm here to help you navigate the twists and turns. Until next time, stay smart, stay curious, and keep on investing.